Hello, welcome. This is series four of getting file from FTP server. So now if you remember the series in the series one, he directly write the, use the FTP read file operation. With the help of read file operation, we are successfully able to get data from SFTP server and we added ATP and point to insert data into the table. But the problem is here is if we cannot read directly read data from FTP server if data size is greater than 50 MB. Remember, we can only directly read the data from FTP server which having the size is less than 50. That's the problem. If you will see the previous videos, the say series third, I show you the integration. This is the integration, right? I created in the first, says, first series where if you will see, we are passing the file directory and the file name. And if the file is, suppose here, this is our FTP server. Right, let me connect this server again. So this is FTP server and here we have file. Here you can see if we are providing the file as 9.42 MB, it is less than 10 MB. It's integration working perfectly fine. Here you can see, yes. And here right now you can see, we don't have data in this table as count is zero. Once we'll run the integration, it will read the data from server and whatever data will be there, it will insert into table. That's working perfectly fine. Even if we are passing the data file with size is less than 50, greater than 10, but less than 50, like 17.6 MB, it's still working fine. But when we are passing data file with more than 50 MB, it's generating error because FTP and the point have the FTP connection, have the restriction that it cannot directly read the data with more than 50 MB. A stage operation have the stage file activity has the limitation of reading the data max to max 10 MB. And if we have more than 10 MB data, we can use read in segment. But in FTP adapter, we don't have read in segment, something like that. Then what we need to do, we need to first download the data. Then we need to read the data with the help of stage activity. So that kind of things we need to implement there. So let's see. So here you can see our integration completed successfully. And now if I will check the table, we will have the data. Here you can see we will have 14,000 of records. Now, if I pass the record, let me truncate the table again. And here, if you, I will pass the data file name, which having the more than 10 MB, but less than 50 MB. You can see data size is 17.6. It is still work fine. Will it still work fine if I will pass here. The file name. It will again get the data from server open in the read mode and it will map the data using ATP and data will be inserted into the table. But pass the data file. We pass data file more than 50 MB of size. Here, if you will see this data file have the size as 58.6 MB. Right. So let me first complete this integration. You can see we pass the data size greater than 10 MB, less than 50 MB. It's still completed. And if you will check the count, count of the record, we will see that count. You can see previously it was 14 nearby. Now here we have 26,000. Again, let me truncate. And if we pass the file name, which having the size 50 MB, greater than 50 MB, it will generate error. Here you can see, we will get an error. The error will say that we cannot read more than 50 MB of size. Reload it again. Let me, let me show you that one. Here, let me pass again. And if I run the integration, you can see it will generate an error. So that error we have to solve and how we can achieve that kind of scenarios. Everything we will discuss here in the video. I will create integration. I will show you that one. So here you can see it's generated error, right? Integration completed error where while reading the file from FTP. And what error it's showing, you can see once I will click here in the message, you can clearly see that we passing this value and error we are getting here, you can see no data to process, no data to process. While this one to process was not found or not available here, make sure, okay, we passed wrong data. Let me pass again. Okay, here we pass invalid file name. Just click test again. Here you can see once completed, it generated error and what error it's showing, you can see here. Comfort and the schema and payload size does not exist threshold error occur as a file size exceed maximum threshold size of 50 MB. 
as I told you, a stage file activity has read capacity of read entire file as 10 MB. And now FTP have the read capacity of that the max to max 50 MB, but our data file have the size as 58 MB. That's why it's showing error. So how we can solve that error? We can solve this error by not directly reading the data, by downloading the data and, and reading using the read in segment operation. So here I will make a clone of this integration. So that I can do the changes less than 10. Then now clone. Here once I will edit. I will create separate videos where I will explain you how we can use exception handling in integration so that we can get desired result from our integration. So now you can see we are getting error in this point only. It's not able to read the data which having the more than 60 MB or 50 MB of size. So what we will do instead of using the read operation, we will use download operation. In operation, if you will move here, instead of getting read, we will use download operation. Once we will download, it will ask the directory and it will ask the directory where we have to download. So I will provide the temp directory. This is YC virtual directory. I have created the same video in uh, say season three. Session three, you can check there also, right? And here this name, this is the SFTP file directory, SSFTP file name. Both we will pass in the mapping as we are getting as a request payload. Now next and done. So here with the help of this endpoint, we will successfully download the data file from FTP server to OIC virtual directory. So once we are editing the mapping, you can see mapper is removed. So now we will add the mapper by directing this map from here. So here we are already going to add mapper for the read file FTP. So we'll select. Now in mapper, we have to provide the file name and path. And the file name and path we are getting for the request payload. So here I will map from file name to file name, file directory to file directory. And here in the directory, download directory, we have already provided while configuring. So this is done. We'll close. Now we added the endpoint. You can change the name. Here we added the read file name. We cannot change the endpoint name once configured. So we need to delete this one. So you can, while you will work, you can delete on that. So now here we successfully downloaded it. Now we have to read the data of this file. So how we can use, we can read with the help of a stage operation. But in a stage operation, if you remember, we cannot read entire data as we have more than 10 MB of records. So what we will do, we will use read in segment. Read in segment stage, I will give the name something like that. And here operation, I will select read file in segments. Now again, we have to provide the name and the directory. So what I will do instead of providing the name and directory, I will use file references. And from where we will get the file reference, we will get file reference from the response of this read file FTP. So next, here we will edit, sorry. And the read file FTP have the, you can see once we will expand, it will show ICS file inside that we have the file reference. Inside ICS file, we have file reference. So we will expand this file, map this file reference here. Now save. File reference contains everything. That's why whenever we use file reference, we don't require to provide the file name and path. Everything it will pick from there only. Next, we need to provide the file structure. What kind of file we have our server. So I have already created a sample of that. I will select this sample. Yes, do that. You can see we have all the columns name here listed. So I have to provide the record and the record set name. So I will just provide the simple dummy value. And here, every column is in mandatory field. So I, I will make this as optional. If you require more details about that, you can make a comment to that. I will create separate videos where I will explain this point. Next done. So with the help of this stage read file in segment, we will able to read the data in chunk of 200 records, whatever data we have. Now we have to insert records. So I will drive, we have already added the insert FTP. So we will remove this ATP from outside of this segment to inside this reading segment option. We'll drag here. Now we have to change the mapping as this mapping have the old mapping, just read it here. Now here you can see we have to provide the mapping. So right now this mapping is coming earlier from there. That is not true. So I will delete this mapping. 
Now again, what I will do, I will move to the read-in segment. Here we have record and record set. You can see record and record set. Right, record set and record. So I will map this array with this array. And then we'll map this serial number with serial number, reference to reference, period to period, all the things we need to map here. So I will map here one by one. You can map based on your requirement, whatever requirement you have. It's just for the testing purpose. So I am using that simple value you can use based on your project requirement. Just mapping here all this value. So just give me a time. So suppose we map the value, everything is fine. Now close. Once mapping done, so here you can see it will get the data file from FTP server to YC virtual directory in this place here. And that data we you read using a stage reading segment operation. And now whatever data we read, we added in the HTTP endpoint using mapping so that same data will be inserted into the table. Now everything is done. Our integration will be completed. Now solve. So here we have one warning because we use reading segment operation in synchronous integration. And Oracle suggested we should not use that one because synchronous integration have time limit and the read-in segment can have can take some time based on data, whatever data we have on the operation we perform. That's why. Here I will activate this integration. <clears throat> I will save. Let me first show you the table. So here you can see this is a table, and if this table we don't have record yet. Right now we have zero record. Let me use select a star, select a star. And here you can see our table is empty. We don't have any record. Now what we are going to do, we are just going to run the integration. So here in body, we have to pass the file name and the path. So this is our file name. You can see this, the size of the file is 58 MB, 58.6 MB. Previously we are getting error, but right now we will not get error as we implemented the downward option. So here now, once I will click on the test, you can see it will read the data, uh, data one by one inserted into this table. You can see right now we don't have, it will process the data, it will insert, we'll check here, you can see we have data, if you will check the count. Right now count is 38,600. You can see 53,000 as it's chunk by chunk, it's inserting data, right? Here you can see 86,000, 88,000, 88,302. It means integration completed as we are not getting data. So once we will move to the integration, you can see integration will be completed. Now you can see integration is completed. So total records we fetch 88,000, all the record inserted. It means we didn't get any error because we added the download option. Here you can see if we will open the iteration, you can see all the iteration, how many iterations are there for the read in segment option and based on the iteration data inserted into table. So this is the way we can implement or we can achieve the solution while getting error while, while getting data from server. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other queries, you can make a comment on that. I will try to reach you and try to solve your queries. Thank you so much again.